What's up, ladies and gents? If you come to this video, you're probably having a problem similar to the one you're seeing on your screen, particularly when it comes to Call of Duty as a DirectX error. So we're going to go through a few solutions real quick. The two easiest ones are just disabling your overlays, particularly for us PC players. There's two overlays that are probably interfering with Call of Duty and giving you this error. One's going to be Discord and the other one's going to be NVIDIA. Let me show you how to turn those off in order to troubleshoot this. So first things first, let's go to Discord. At the bottom of Discord, you'll see your username. You'll see mute, deafen, and user settings. Click on user settings. On the left side, underneath video and voice, you will see overlay. Click on that and make sure that in-game overlay is turned off. And then you're gonna go ahead and close that. The second thing you need to check is the NVIDIA GE Force experience. You can type that down here in the window search bar at the bottom, or you can go to the system tray. You will see a little NVIDIA settings thing. Right click that, hit NVIDIA GE Force Experience, and you'll be brought into the GE Force Experience. You'll see a list of games or your drivers. That's not important. What's important is up here at the top where you see my mouse bouncing around is your username, and next to that is settings. Go ahead and click settings. In the middle of the screen, you'll see in-game overlay. Make sure that in-game overlay is ticked off. This will disable shadow play, yes, but it is essential when it comes to the troubleshooting process, particularly if you just want to play the game. Capiche? So go ahead and make sure in-game overlay is turned off for NVIDIA. Go ahead and close that. Try to launch your game. If that worked, give this video a like to let me know, hey, that worked. Or leave a comment that said that worked. If neither of those things work, I'm gonna show you a couple more options, but if these don't work, I'm gonna be all out of solutions for you. So, what else can you do if you're still getting the error? You're gonna open the Battle.net app. And across the top bar where you see my mouse kind of bouncing around and circling, you will see options, redeem a code, shop, upgrade, etc. Go ahead and click on options. And you want to scroll down to game settings and click on that. You will see this window pop up underneath the install location. You will see additional command line arguments. Go ahead and click that in this box. You want to type minus sign D three D one one that enables direct X 11 mode. Sometimes this can help. It can also help with performance because direct X 11 is a little lower impact when it comes to lighting than direct X 12. I already have this working without doing this, so I'm going to disable it, but just know that is an option. Go ahead, try your game. If that doesn't work, there's one other thing we can do, but and that's going to be using the scanner repair tool, but we want to get the most bang for our buck. And the way we do that is we go ahead and delete files so that they will be re-downloaded fresh and new on Corrupted. So what files do you need to delete? You're going to go to this PC. You'll see a window like this pop up. First place you want to go is to your documents folder. Double click documents, find Call of Duty in this list of games. Double click that and go ahead and delete players. Just delete gone. This just gets rid of your user profile settings, not your career pro profile, not your online profile, but your user settings like screen resolution, are you using high and low graphics, etc. It just gets rid of that. So the next time you go into the game, it'll be like you're starting fresh. Now we're going to go back out to my PC and you want to find where Call of Duty is installed on your PC. Most people, it's going to be under local C. I installed mine on a different drive, but you want to find your main Call of Duty folder. Go into that folder and you will see four manila folders at the top. You do not want to touch these. They will cause a significant download time. You're already going to lose about 30 minutes with the scan and repair tool. You don't want to lose an entire afternoon having to re-download the game. So leave these four manila folders alone. However, everything else underneath it from build info down, go ahead and delete that. And close this window. Go to the Battle.net app. Go into options again, same place we were before. 
and click scan or repair and begin the scan. Now, I don't need to do this because I have it working on my system, but this will scan for any corrupted files, any missing files, and re-download them fresh. So the purposes of this video, since I've already been there, done that, I'm just gonna restore what I have. And unfortunately, if those things didn't work for you, I the only other piece of advice I can give you is going to search and go to type in turn uh, Windows features on and off. You'll get this window pop up. You want to go down and make sure that legacy components and direct play are both checked. If they're unchecked, make sure that they're both enabled. Hit OK. Try again. Uh, other than that, I have no other solutions. I do want to show you that this is working on this PC, so we'll go ahead and boot it up. Waiting for it to boot here. All right, we're getting in. I currently have it in windowed mode. I can put it on full screen. I'm just not sure if OBS will capture that since it's only capturing the monitor and nothing else. Uh, but as you can see, it's working. I can go into options. I can, you know, I can change options around. Uh, just let's, let's turn our product quality up. I don't know. I just want to demonstrate that this is working, that this actually fixed the issue, that there doesn't seem to be any other issues. You know, like we're queued for blood money now. I don't actually want to do that right now. Um, but in general, that seems to be what fixes it, is turning off overlays and getting a fresh install on some of your files. I mean, yes, if you have to go down the route of deleting and reinstalling the files, you're going to lose 30 minutes, but that's a heck of a lot better than spending four or five hours re-downloading the game, considering it's 150 gigabytes. So, I don't typically do content like this on my channel. If this helped you and you want to say thanks, just give the video a like. That's all I want. Um, leave a comment if you're still having the problem. I can maybe try to help you fix it. Other than that, that's all I got. Y'all have a good day.